The other options here are to get the link to the article. If you click on that, there is a link that you can copy and paste, maybe email it to somebody to point them to this article, or if you wanna send yourself the link instead by email, what the link will do is redirect you back into the database. You may have to log back in if you're not logged into Access Rio, uh, but that is another option if you prefer. And then another cool feature is highlights and notes. So let's say you are reading the article and in the database and as you're reading, you wanna take notes of what you're reading. So you would, let's say, highlight some text, something that you find useful or interesting. And as soon as you finish highlighting the section that you want to highlight, this menu option appears for highlights and notes. I can select the color of the highlight that I want to choose, and I can select the note that I want to type in. So for example, this is important, make note of it in essay. A note for yourself, or if you want to find the definition of something that you've highlighted, it will give you a definition for whatever word that you have selected. If you change your mind about this note, you can always delete it, but if you are happy with it, you can click save. And you can do this multiple times, uh, select a different color, add a note, and always make sure to click save to save your note. And I'll do this right here for define. It gives me a definition. And I can add that into my notes and save, okay? And then you'll notice that here in highlights and notes, what was originally listed as a zero is now listed as three because I have three highlights and notes. Now I can go directly to those highlights and notes and see what I've selected. And if I click here on view all highlights and notes, it will take me to a separate page that has all of my highlights and notes individually listed for me. And it also gives me a citation for the article that I used for these highlights and notes. I can also download this specific page of highlights and notes or email it to myself. So for example, with the download, it downloaded it as a PDF document. And when I open it up, there are my highlights and notes on their own. If I do the send to option, and let's say I wanna send it to my Google Drive, when I go into my Google Drive, it will appear there again as a Word document, but there I have all of my highlights and notes listed as well. And I can do that as well by email. If I do send to email, and again, type in all of my information and I will get those highlights and notes in my email as well. So that's a really cool feature of the database um, to save those highlights and notes. Going back to the article, something else I can do once I have finished doing my highlights and notes is download the article again uh, to my Google Drive, for example, and now in my Google Drive, I will have the updated article, but this time the article will show my highlights and notes within the article. And at the end of the article, it will also separate out the highlights and notes for me. Important to know about highlights and notes is that if you don't download them or save them or print them, they will disappear once you exit and leave the database. The database also helps you here with a kind of breadcrumb trail of how you got to where you are. So you can always select back 
to where you started, uh, maybe taking just one step back, going to academic journals, or if you want to go back to seeing all content types, you can do that as well, or going back to your main topic, which was infectious diseases, and it'll take you back to this page here where you see all of your different source types. And something I wanted to point out here was that you will see a kind of um, snapshot for each of these source types that are listed. You'll see three articles that are representative of this source type. So three viewpoint articles, three academic journals, uh, three reference, a couple of images, a couple of audio. So just a, a brief snapshot of each source type. And you can always dive into each source type by clicking on the source type name if you wanted to.